Alright guys, welcome back to John HG Gaming and I've considered it and I think I'm going to turn down Caesar's Peace Offering and the main reason is because I think the gold is um, not too tempting although his coal is very very nice but what I would like to do is I would like to remove Caesar's smaller cities behind me so as not to get, let them grow too big and become a problem in the future so I'm gonna say no so um, I'm gonna say no <laughs> refuse Caesar's peace offering okay go per turn from Washington has ended I'm not too sure why okay so let's try and take this guy out and take out his cannon and come on back so we have done well to continuously take out more of Rome's units. I'm just a bit curious as to why Washington is no I longer trust paying you are us a money. Friend to liberty. Um, Go ahead. Just wondering, would you like some iron? Um, could you actually pay me for the iron instead of just saying yes? Alright, so that's not gonna happen. Uh, let's Go make ahead. a declaration of friendship. Let's be friends. Okay. Alright. Okay, so I'm gonna hook up some resources over here. We're still in Golden Age. Getting a lot of happiness. Nine more turns for the next policy. Alright, so. I think we are still trying very very hard for the culture although now we can go production focus all right so i'm gonna try and take out this city on my right and this is gonna give me access to belgrade budapest and you know um what's this guy here geneva yep so it's gonna give me pretty nice access hmm. Alright, so let's go this way and up. Okay. So I hope that's the right choice. Again, I've not played Civ 5 for quite a long time, so I've pretty much forgotten how the game mechanics actually work. Okay, and I'm just crossing my fingers and hoping that I remember the right stuff to do. Alright, so I'm gonna just um, pillage you know, this guy and stay put and move up my general. Okay, move up my cannons. Move everything up. I think these two guys should be fairly manageable. Now we can move up as well, not too worry. Okay. Um yeah, sorry about that. Sorry that caused a divide between us. But I think we're still good. Uh, wow, you guys really, really do not like America. But, you know, the only reason why I've gotten this far is because America has been um, sort of giving me gold, you know, giving me research agreements. Yes, we have been rigging Geneva's um, elections. Well done. You over here are gonna get shot upon. Can can we shoot you from there? Right, so we have taken a you out. Very nice. Now Caesar has or oh, Venice has been declaring war on Caesar. And Montezuma, I think these guys, I think they are Siam's um What what do you call those who do work for others? I cannot remember the word for it but you know the guys all oh right lackeys yep i think they are siam's lackeys and um yeah that's what i could consider them to be so that's fine anyway so let's continue moving up try and take out his city over here and let siam and the other guys deal with the rest i don't think we can fire across Okay, 9 more turns to steam power and 10 more to the Eiffel Tower. I suspect we're gonna get beaten to the Eiffel Tower unless we get some 
upgrade person. Oh wow, okay, so we're gonna try and get more money from Austria. That's a given. Now I'm gonna go for the bonus against mounted units because we faced some mounted units, mounted units just now. Now let's talk to Austria. Actually, you have truffles, which is something that I covert because you do not have gold. So let's change it for something relevant. Okay, so we have happiness, but our happiness is not too high. Mm. Can we get some luxury resources from Wandazuma. Um, all right, so um. I have nothing to trade for now. That's uh that's very sad. Okay. Alright, so give me a moment, let me think what is the right course of action. I don't think there is an easy way in. In fact I think it is very well protected by mountains and all that. I may have to go in in go straight in by brute force in the sense that my cannons have got to be placed right over here so my land units can no longer take the brunt of the force in fact i think my crossbowmen are going to be very irrelevant but let's try and pillage try and um, hurt rome a lot more so that's what i'm gonna do two tiles so this tile is going to be shot at, this one as well. Okay, so let's just continue moving. Just keep moving, just keep moving my guys. I'm actually going to um, put my guy over here, put my cannon up. To have some sort of an insurance on my flanks. Okay. Now you can sleep. You can be on alert. And next turn. Um, open borders? Sure. I'm um, happy to play with Siam. Well, actually, I'm not too sure whether I'm happy or not. I just know that I cannot afford the piece of Siam. He's so far ahead. Now let's look at the demographics. Here's approval. Okay, actually, we are not that far apart. We are still sort of in the middle, but in terms of the literacy, we are just way, way, way behind. Manufactured goods, GMP, alright, so I think that sucks pretty bad because, I mean, look at the production. He has so much more production. Okay. I think I'm gonna try and go for. Wow, okay, I think we may be able to take him out. Despite. The attacks from the city. Come on guys, by the way, you should be done soon, right? This is taking way too long. Alright, so let's keep you behind. To remove any units over there, so I think... Well, I'll just give you some more time to grow. Or uh, as in to do what you're supposed to do anyway. Okay, so I'm gonna move you up. So that the rest of my units can have the space to move up as well. Right. Six more turns. Get some bonuses from the Golden Edge, so that's not too bad. Right, so let's uh, get you to sleep. Eight more turns. I don't think it is eight more turns because I think our Golden Edge would actually expire so it's gonna take a little longer you seek a new natural wonder and i don't think i can give it to you because i am not actively exploring wow so the cannon has moved away um i'm gonna go here i think i think rome is pretty upset that i'm actually actively pillaging and destroying his um, hard work to repair everything else Okay, these guys are still hard at work. Okay, let's be on alert for that. And 
I'm just wondering whether I should charge in right now. No, actually, I think I'm gonna move my cannon back. So let's give you guys a couple more turns and do nothing. Okay. Can you guys actually do nothing? Okay, so I'm gonna move this guy up. Be on alert. Next turn. Because I like to have two cannons in front bombarding the city and try and reduce the number of aluminum he has access to. And I think I saw a couple of cavalry over there. Now I like to smile the most. Wow. China is the most happy. That is um, pretty scary because this would mean that China has a lot of. Um... Now, before I continue, I think Caesar is again donating some units to us. And I think I'm happy to accept. Now, you over here. Alright, so I think that's pretty bad because if I take him out, my, I'm gonna, my unit's gonna be lost as well. So my idea is to pillage. So that's something that I'm gonna continue doing. Not gonna be too crazy. But I think this time around, I'm gonna pillage from this side. Alright, so anyway, pretty happy the amount of gold I have. I think I can purchase a factory. Let me see, hydro plant, a plus one production in for the town next to the river. 10% production, 10% of eight. 88 hammers plus 4 that's 12 so I think factory is much more valuable so I'm gonna go for the factory okay so just in case I miss the Eiffel Tower I'll get more gold back in return so that's um, that's something that I'm okay with now um, you're gonna just stay put for a little longer because my cannons on a detour Although I'm not too sure whether that's necessary. Hmm. And I'm not too sure whether I'm gonna be able to use the marble. Oh wells. I'm gonna I'm gonna go in. Um uh, uh, whoops. I had no idea that you know they had stuff over there. Now this is a hill, a hill, I don't think well, I may have a chance, I'm not too sure how it works. Now you could go here, move up. Can you move up? Alright, you can, so let's do that. Now let's move this guy over there. Are we okay? I'm feeling a little vulnerable on this side. Now you need to get up. Not necessary, I think. Well, let's just take out the Barbarian. I mean, why not? Okay. You, I think, can delete. I have too many workers for now. I think you can be on alert. He has a fair number of units, but it would be in my interest to take out this unit over here. Wow, okay. Um, it would be my interest to survive. Okay. Adjacent fan friendly unit, terrain modifier near Great General. Where 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 is your Great General? I don't see a Great General. Probably somewhere behind. Um, flanking bonus, rough terrain bonus. Okay, I'm getting back. I'm running back. Those bonuses are way too much. All right, so let's automate and see where you want to go. Alright, so the Barbarian was taken out very easily. Um, let's stay put for here. I'm not too sure what you are doing actually. Can we delete you? Uh, do we get some money? 17 gold? Sure, I think let's do that because you have been in limbo for quite some time. And that's not how I like my workers to behave. Alright, so let's move you up. And the cannons can go up. Um, I think I have a bit more bonus, right? So I'm going to take it. Let's move you up. Don't think we can do that. Okay. Now the missionary, I'd like you to get 
Actually, Geneva is the only viable place to go because the others are already following my religion. Right, so... I don't think I can move cross over into Belgrade because that would piss off Belgrade. Yep, they would piss them off, so that's not something that I like to do. So I'm gonna just stay put. Gonna heal. And I think you're gonna just be deleted to save up some of the upkeep. Okay. Yes, more money is always good. 350 turns. I think this is actually very, very late in the game. Last I would like culture. I think I am doing fairly well in culture. Now, golden itch in one turn. Yeah, the hydro plant would be something that we would like to have. The happiness on the Eiffel Tower is always good as well. Hopefully that brings us nearer to another true golden edge. Okay, flourishing. Select a unit. Now, can we, can we actually fire upon? Alright, so we can. Now you can set up and fire upon as well. Um, you can come on in. You can swap positions and run. No, I think you just stay put and try and draw fire from the city. Now you can come on in. You can come on in as well. Surround them all and destroy them. Yep, that is my plan actually. Now, um, yep, I'm gonna pull my cannon forward, pull him here, and take shots as well. Try and make Rome as vulnerable as possible. And the next one will be to come here, deny Caesar any oil. Alright, I'm actually looking forward to getting the Eiffel Tower. It would be pretty sad if someone has built it before me. So let's hope that we get the Eiffel Tower in time. Two turns for the policy. Golden Age has ended. Yep, so that was unfortunate. We are still pretty far away from Great Engineer. Although we are getting a fair bit of bonuses. Yeah, I think the factory is helping us a fair bit. Okay, so let's see if we can continue dealing the damage over there. Okay, so I'm gonna swap with you. You can heal, and you can... can you? Okay, so you have the bonus from the Great General. I'm going to move up the Great General bonus. And you can actually come into Belgrade. Then Geneva. What I'm worried about using this guy to attack is that if he is damaged, then I'll find it very difficult to maneuver. Alright, then this guy over here. This guy is fine. But I'm I'm just gonna put him on alert defensive because I think you know if I attack, he's damaged. The CD attack, this guy will here attack and he might be vulnerable, so I'm gonna use this to attack. And only this guy. Alright, you can protect yourself as well. Alright, so I think Rome has run out of um, workers to gift to me. Embassy. Uh, Alright, so I'm actually pretty surprised that China has is the happiest um, in the demographic just now because she has no luxury resources, none of the other stuff. She should be pretty weak, but sure, I'll take the embassy. Okay, open borders. Sure, I'll take it. Okay, that's fine. Caesar has made peace with Austria. That's very, very sad. Why would you ever make peace with someone like 
Caesar. Oh, the Leaning Tower of Pisa. That's very nice. And uh, what's this? Machu Picchu? I'm not too sure what that is. Um, but I do know that that's a very nice, great wonder. Okay, so let's continue firing upon this guy. Don't think we can fire across because the vision should be blocked by the hill. So let's continue taking shots. Alright, I think I'm gonna swap because I, I'm not convinced that I can take the city in one single turn. Okay, so I think now my guy should run away. Alright, I'm gonna just hurt this guy over here. And you have something to do, right? If you are just staying put, then I have. Alright, for example, this guy. Um, he would be executed to save me some upkeep because I'm spending a lot on maintenance buildings and units right so you can rest you can rest up as well yep just stay alive Alright, next turn. I think Caesar is working very hard behind the scenes to try and negotiate a peace settlement with the other nations. Sure, I'm gonna accept that. I'm okay. Washington has, con has completed the Statue of Liberty. Um, this is terrible man, you're not even trying. You are you just not even trying, so... Yeah, no. You gotta at least try, right? If you try harder, then I might actually consider your proposal. But, you know, you're just not trying. Alright, so I'm not too sure whether I'm gonna go for this or this over here, but I don't think philanthropy is gonna help a lot because I don't really have a lot of gold. So I think... A higher resting point might be more useful, although the gold would help as well. Double the gold from Great Merchant, and I think we're going to have a Great Merchant pretty soon. Um, Alright, I'm going to buy a little more insurance by taking this, because a higher influence point would mean that I might be able to get some very important um, strategic resources by paying for them for example the coal over here so that's a little insurance buy that i'm actually trying to get i'm not too sure what the statue of liberty actually does now let's give it a check plus one production from a specialist so that's pretty nice i think however the ai is programmed in such a way that um the Americans so want to go for the wonders that are directly related to them so I think the French we want to go for the Eiffel Tower fortunately the French are not in this game so that's very nice for me okay Montezuma has made peace with Caesar seriously man what, what have you what have you been taking from Caesar or should I say what have Caesar been offering you guys no, that's that's nonsense. All right. Anyway, let's set up and let's fire upon this city over here, and let's try and take it out. Yeah, let's take it out. This mine. All right, that's fairly childish, but you know, it's always very very happy. Something very happy to be when we have taken out one of Caesar's precious little city so let's continue taking him out can we come over here and fire what's this oh that's a hill okay so that's unfortunate so let's continue hitting caesar very very hard and he is almost on par with us right now in terms of the score so that's very nice i mean caesar so caesar was i think number one at some point and now he is um 
way behind. And I think, yep, Americans have taken over Zanzibar. And yep, has gotten more coal, so Americans are going to be pretty powerful. And that is one reason why I feel happy about maintaining very good relations with the Americans throughout the game. And let's hope we can keep it that way. Now, I think if we can take out this city over here, and that would mean that we can focus on the forward cities. So that would be something that is very nice. Now you can pillage, take away all the stuff. You can come on near and spread our good faith and ideas to our dear Geneva. Geneva. Okay, so next turn it is. I wanted to say Geneva. I said Geneva twice. Oh, wow, this is stupid. On the same turn, really? That is. Um, that frustrates me a lot. Getting a little bit upset with myself because if I had paid a little bit more attention and started the work on the Eiffel Tower just one or two turns earlier, then I would have been much better off. And are you, are you, are you trying something? Um. Uh, I I I try and do something stupid, Washington. Okay. Now let's see on our religion, which is the Shinto Buddhism. We have the pagodas as well as the Hermitage. But what I like is the Defender of the Faith, which gives us um twenty percent combat strength. Yep, so that's um, very nice. Now let's take a look at Washington's religion. Right, so I think that is um, Confucianism. Okay, gain faith if you win a battle. Oh wow, that's pretty powerful. Let's see what else. We have the mosque. Okay, that's fine. Well, yes, next have something that's very nice. Alright, so what do you have? Plus 5 culture for every follow of this religion in other... Oh, wow, okay, so which means to say that I'm going to give Washington um, culture if, let's say, my city is converted. So, um, I'm not sure if I want to do that. Okay. I think I'm gonna get a. Let me see, used to remove other religions from cities. I think I'm gonna get an Inquisitor. Okay. So let's move, or should I say, let's delete my guy over here. Let's purchase an Inquisitor to be prepared for the conversion by the Great Prophet. Now. Um, let's think let's get accuracy oh wow are you gonna give me a great general well Caesar is being really generous I'm um, in awe of Caesar's generosity and I think Caesar's being hurt pretty bad because um, now the Songhai are actually in his territory no, I think this game has been pretty dramatic considering the fact that Caesar was so powerful and he's now just getting bullied all around. Alright, so 